Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general love reading. Will my ex come back uh, for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for December 2021. So these are the Virgo individuals that are currently entertaining the idea of reconciling with the ex, or an ex wanting to reconcile with you, or both of you are mutually um, entertaining that. So we're going to take a look at your uh, mutual energies between you and your ex. And uh, we'll see what um, caused the separation between you two. And we'll finish the read to see if there's uh, going to be reconciliation between you two. Um, so keep in mind, uh, apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the roles if you want. Um, also keep in mind that this is just a, a general reading. Uh, so I'm tapping into the collective uh, Virgo energies. Uh, I'm not tapping into like one specific person. I only do that in my personal readings. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your own unique situation, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. Uh, before we get started, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. Leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. For those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, Virgo, let's get started. Uh, mutual energies between Virgo and Alex. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for December 2021. Even though I'm asking for the mutual energies, uh, keep in mind that this is like maybe one person's feeling this way, you or the other one, or like I said, both. Let's see. All right, King of Pentacles and a Three of Swords. So Virgo, this could be you right here with the King of Pentacles. You could be dealing with another Virgo or Capricorn, Taurus, but we have someone here that's heartbroken. Yeah, someone here that is heartbroken that this relationship is not working out or didn't work out here. You know, someone here could have taken a leap towards someone else here. So let's see. The Ace of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Yeah, someone here is losing sleep over not being with someone. Because I feel like this King of Pentacles is really, really, really in love and at the same time hurt. Uh, Ten of Cups and the Emperor here. Yeah, I'm feeling like someone here wants to approach someone. Someone here wants to ask for forgiveness. Perhaps someone here is, is looking for forgiveness or trying to apologize. Perhaps to you, um, Virgo. Yeah, it seems like someone here is trying to make peace here. So, yeah, so I feel like someone here perhaps, you know, still wants this relationship really badly or that both of you are wanting that. So just apply this to your own unique situation, Virgo. Why is this King of Pentacles here? Why is this King of Pentacles here? Four of Pentacles. I feel like we have someone here that's really holding on to someone and really not letting it go. I feel like someone here is like lovesick. Three of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. That's not the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have someone here that's not ready to let you go, or let someone, or, or someone here is not ready to let you go, or you're not ready to let go of somebody. Eight of, Ace of Cups. We have Judgment. So we have a king here that is looking for a reconciliation here with their ex. Nine of Swords. Six of Swords. Yeah, so someone here is feeling like the reconciliation will cure their pain. Hmm. Ten of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. Um, so we have the King to the Queen of Pentacles here. So place yourself where you see fit. 
but it seems like we have a queen here. Perhaps that went towards someone else who's more mature here. This emperor. Tell me about the emperor and the knight of swords. I mean, someone here could have swooped in and taken this queen of pentacles away from this king of pentacles. Looks like there are three people here. King of pentacles, queen of pentacles, and an emperor. So feel free to place yourself where you see fit. The rules could be flipped or reverse. We'll see if that empress comes out. Let's see. It, it, but as it stands, it seems like there, there are three people here. It seems like we have someone here that's trying, you know, it could be a situation where this king of pentacles is trying to level up, mature, and rush back in uh, to be with this queen of pentacles. All right. Uh, what caused the separation here between uh, Virgo and their ex? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for December 2021. You have the Knight of Swords. That's not the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Wands. So, uh, Aries, Leo, Sag. Look at all these knights here. The Lovers, Gemini energy. Could be dealing with a Gemini. You might have Gemini in your chart. Nine of Wands and the Hermit, Virgo energy. So like I said, you could be dealing with another Virgo here, Virgo. Six of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. You see, I feel like someone here went off to have a new beginning here with somebody else. You know why? This Queen of Pentacles left to be with someone here who is more mature. Because we have a King of Pentacles here at one point was being a player, was messing around. Perhaps this person was non-committal. And now that this person this queen left. Now the now they want this queen. But this queen left to be with someone else. It's strange because I feel like this queen at uh, this king of pentacles is very shy, but at the same time this person is very um spontaneous at the same time too and can come off not very shy, but I feel like it really depends on uh, who this person surrounded with because I'm getting this person super 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 flirty yeah we have someone here that maybe has never taken that journey to explore their wounds here and their trauma and maybe that's why this person was behaving this way because this queen went off to have seems like a successful relationship with a more mature individual here. All right, why is this Knight of uh, Wands here? Tell me about this Knight of Wands. Why is this Knight of Wands here? Why is this Knight of Wands here? We have a king here that was non-committal at one point. Like I said, this person was fooling around. This person was in and out. Uh, the lovers and judgment. I feel like this person couldn't, couldn't decide whether they wanted this relationship or not. Nine of wands. Ten of cups. I feel like this pro a person has trauma surrounding their family here. Perhaps this person grew up in a, you know, a household that wasn't stable. Perhaps the uh, parents were, you know, quite violent with their words, uh, with their uh, actions too. Hermit, five of cups. This person might come off as someone here who's extremely, like, sad too.
Yeah, this person constantly looks back at their uh, upbringing, I feel. Six of Wands, Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, the Devil, Capricorn Energy. Could be dealing with the Capricorn. You might have Capricorn in your chart. You might have the Four of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so I feel like... I feel like lust took this Queen of Pentacles to this Emperor, but eventually this person fell in love with this Emperor here. It was like more of a sexual thing to sort of take the edge off of, of, uh, of what was going on with this King of Pentacles here. But over time, I feel like this Queen of Pentacles caught feelings. I just feel like this Queen of Pentacles just left eventually. Because we have a Queen of Pentacles that couldn't deal with this King of Pentacles immaturity. Perhaps it could have been a situation where it was toxic too. But we have someone here that moved away from this and started something new with someone else. Will there be reconciliation between uh, Virgo and the Rise? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for December 2021. and Gemini energy so that this lover is coming up again. Four of Cups and the Six of Swords. High Priestess and the Nine of Pentacles. Virgo energy, pre-Empress energy. We have the Ace of Wands here. You know, I feel like someone here is still really passionate about their queen. I feel like someone here still has very, 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 very strong emotions towards their queen. Uh, I'm talking about this king. And I, I feel like this, queen, uh, this king is regretting their behavior. This king is regretting what happened and wishes that they kept what they had or they uh, yes I, I just don't feel like this is going to come back together um, I mean this queen is already with someone like somebody else strength page of cups cancer uh, Scorpio Pisces the lovers the queen of pentacles yeah we have we have someone here that still has very, very strong emotions here. And yeah, I, it's just uh, kind of too late. Four of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Six of Swords, the Strength again. Yeah, I just feel like someone here wants to apologize for not behaving the way that they were behaving, you know, not focusing on the relationship um, to um, the High Priestess, Two of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, and the Tower. I just feel like someone here can't believe that this is over. Yeah, that they have no chance, no opportunity of this, uh, 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 of um, them, you know, being with you again. 
So, yeah, it just seems like we have a King of Pentacles that was non-committal. Queen of Pentacles could not handle it, went off to be with someone else, and now it seems like they're married with someone else. So Virgo, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.